Well, the SNP... you're going you're gonna, to, if you do worse, does that lose your mandate for another well, referendum? Well, I live in a world, as I'm sure most of us do, where winning an election means getting a majority. It was an incredible result for the SNP so in 2015. So if you lose 10-15 seats, continue, then we will continue you will see to that fight as a mandate. For, every, for every seat. But let's, forget, let's not forget that the SNP have been the party of opposition. We have fought on the rape clause, on WASPI, on child refugees, on the closure of HMRC offices, and, and, and where the Labour Party has failed. And we have stood up to the Conservatives, the and we will continue to do that. So if the people years. of Scotland want a proper opposition, they have to vote for the SNP, because we've stood up for, in for, for people, in Scotland, not just for people in Scotland on those issues, but people across the UK. And we have been a strong voice, and we will continue to do okay, that. OK, we will have to leave that there. You can tell an election is around the corner, can't you? A marathon PMQs, and frankly, a marathon PMQs panel too. Back to you <laughs> in the studio.